Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here over here. Pond. And man, been in a drought for some Don't know what it's like to have so much water, but God has really blessed us with a lot of water this year. And um, my stock tank here, it doesn't catch a whole lot naturally. So I've created a catch system, but I got to move the water over using a trash pump. And I caught a lot of water here. And I'm going to show you how I'm moving this over and talk a little bit uh, about what what I've learned over 10 years of doing this with my trash pump. I have another stock pond over here that catches pretty much all the water and I have to move it over. And the reason I move it out of this pond into that one is because that one's a lot deeper and I sealed that one with some, uh, some drilling mud, about 20,000 gallons of drilling mud and I plowed it in so that one's sealed and this one is not um so you know it catches a lot of water probably i think i caught uh i would say close to a million gallons out of the last rainstorm of course it had a tornado almost hit us missed us by a few miles took out a, a prison not too far from here but uh we've got a storm cellar and so i've been pumping on it since yesterday and I don't know if you can see that dark line over there where the weeds are. It was up to there, so I pumped out probably 500,000 gallons in the last 24 hours. Um, using a little video uh, Briggs & Stratton trash pump that I bought at Tractor Supply. And it's going on its 10th year right there. No rebuild, just totally original from the factory. I use it year after year to pump water. I probably pump this pond out 40, 50 times with it, and that little pump just keeps on ticking. So uh, I've learned something over the years about it, um, about moving water with it. When I first bought the pump, I figured, well, I'll uh, just run it full speed, and that'll give me the most amount of water. Well, on one tank of gas at full speed, I'm going to get over here where you can hear me a little better away from the motor. Um, at full speed, I figured out something. It uh, it actually pumps a lot of water. I think it's maximum from the factory spec. It pumps about 225 gallons a minute at maximum speed. Okay, and I figured out that it will run for about two hours at maximum speed on a full tank of gas. Now that's an awful lot of water, but I figured out that if I reduce it down to about one third speed, it runs a lot slower. But Hold on, we get a little wind here. But it still pumps about 180 gallons a minute. Okay? So how has this motor lasted so long? Of course, I do regular oil changes on it. But look at here. Look at this here. it up to full speed there and I want you to watch this water flow now it will increase but the amount that it increases is not as much as you would think now it's hard on that motor it is pumping more water here but how much more is it pumping okay now the amount that it increases is a little bit yes substantial about another 50 gallons a minute but Running it at a slower speed, let me go ahead and slow it down here. Okay, that engine's not working hard at all. That engine's running about one third of its max speed there. It's running a little, a lot slower. It's not stressing the engine out. And let's go over here and look at this volume of water again. Okay. Now it's not nearly as strong, but it's still got a very good volume of water. Now I did an actual test to see what the difference is using a 50 gallon drum, filling it up to the top, measuring the time it took to fill it up at both speeds. And I figured out that at at about that speed that I'm running right now, it's putting out around 170 to 180 gallons a minute. All right. Now, the thing is, 
is it can run a full eight hours on one tank of gas at that speed. So, although it's putting out uh, about a 50 gallons less than its maximum uh, potential at high speed, it's running four times longer, okay? Because at full speed, it's out of gas in two hours. So I'm actually getting almost triple the amount of, of, of water for the same amount of gasoline because even though it's running slower and producing less, it runs four times longer on the amount of gas and that motor is over 10 years old and has pumped probably, I don't know, uh, I would say 40, 50 million gallons of water in its life. I change the oil after every pond that I pump out. So once I pump this pond completely, completely out, which will probably take me another day and a half, I'll change the oil out. And when the next time rain comes, I'll put it, you know, I'll fit, I'll uh, run it the whole pond over. And so that little motor has lasted all this time. I got a crack in the pump housing on it because I forgot to drain it and it froze and it cracked the pump housing. But I don't actually mind that little leak because now it drains all the water out after I'm done and I don't have to worry about it, it freezing again. So uh, that's kind of like a safety valve for me. Uh, it's been that way for years. It doesn't bother me. Just prime it and it runs. Great little pump there. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you a little test or, you know, little uh, first-hand experience that I've learned over 10 years of moving a, a lake full of water with a little bitty trash pump, uh, how to make it last a long time, run it more efficiently, and uh, get more, more water for less, uh, less gasoline. So I hope this video has been helpful and you've learned something from it. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out. Stop! Ah, shoot! <laughs>